Okay, and few more things when you are done with the developing and or when you are done with the browsing in the SAP system and you want to shut down whole system with all the things that you don't, uh, so that you, you just close it properly. So what you should do, you should close all the sessions that are inside of your, that are, that are, o that are opened by you. So you will, firstly, you will just close all the session of your SAP windows. So this is what you will do. Uh, when you will close the last session, SAP will ask you, if you want to uh, log off so you will hit yes and so this you make sure that you are logged off of your system and then you go to your SAP server so we I will just open up my virtual machine and I will just go inside uh, by putting here my password so I'm currently in my terminal so currently SAP system is running on this virtual machine. What I want to do in order to stop this virtual machine or to stop SAP system firstly is to type here the command stop sub all and type uh, or hit enter and let's wait for a few seconds while a database is closed or, or stopped and all the other processes that are running in the background they must be stopped in order to, to close this uh, SAP system proper or, sh or shut it down. Okay, and when you see uh, the information that the database is not available via R3 trans, uh, this is the information that our SAP system has stopped and right now we can close all the windows inside of our OpenSUSE. So we will close terminal and we are ready or we can already uh, stop also our virtual machine. So what I will do, I will just go here in the upper right corner and hit uh, this power off button and choose power off. So this is what I'm, I'm doing. And right now our uh, virtual machine, our Linux is shutting down. So right now uh, you clean up your RAM, you have plenty of uh, place in your RAM and your SAP system is already shut down. So if you will go and try to connect to your SAP system, uh, so let's do that so that at least you will see how it behaves on when you don't have any connection to your SAP server. So you get uh, something like this SAP GUI for Windows and um, WSAE con connection refused. Um, some kind of error like this. So if you will get error like this, you will know that your SAP server is not running yet and you need to start it up.